Shalom, brothers and sisters. So I want to take a minute and I'm going to read you a few things. So bear with me because you need to know this to see just how real all this is and how it's all coming together. So the United Nitwits, sorry, Nations, the UN, and Bill Gates of Hell launched the 50 in 5 global digital infrastructure plans. Right? Just, this is in our faces. Last week, the United Nations Development Program officially launched their new initiative promoting digital public infrastructure, DPI, around the world. Remember patent 060606. If you don't, or you don't know about it, find a conspiracy theory friend and look up their information or Google it and go and have a look into patent 060606 done by Bill Gates and Microsoft and talking about a implanted identity point that will link all of your social and media and everything together to one place for control. Very interesting. And it's there. It's on public record. 666. This goes back long. The 50 in 5 program, so-called because it aims to introduce DPI in 50 countries within the next five years. It began with a live stream event on November the 8th. For those who are unsure what digital public infrastructure is, the 15 5 website is very clear. Go check out their website. Digital public infrastructure refers to a secure and interoperable network of components that include digital payments, ID and data exchange systems. Data exchange systems essentially means national governments will share identity and financial records of citizens across borders with other nations or indeed global government agencies. So all your financial information, all of your other information shared. As well as being a project of the UNDP, UNICEF, UNICEF, and the Inter-American Developmental Bank. The 15 5 is funded by various globalist NGOs and non-profits, including, number one, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and indirectly through an NGO called Co-Develop, which is the Rockefeller Federation, or Foundation. Rockefeller, Bill Gates, all these should be setting alarm bells off in your head. The 11 countries taking part in the program so far are Bangladesh, Brazil, Estonia, Ethiopia, Guatemala, Moldova, Norway, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Singapore, Sri Lanka and Togo. A careful spread of every continent including first, second and third world nations because it needs to encompass all. It's a list noteworthy for including NATO, the EU, and BRICS members. Interesting implications for multipolarity. In related news, on the exact same day the 15 5 program launched, the European Parliament and Council of Europe agreed on a new framework for a region wide European digital identity system. Just coincidence. The revised regulation constitutes a clear paradigm shift for digital identity in Europe to ensure universal access for people and businesses to secure and trustworthy electronic identification and authentication. Under the new law, member states will offer citizens and businesses digital wallets that will be able to link their national digital identities with proof of other personal attributes, driver's licenses, diplomas, bank accounts, and all sorts of other information in one place. Citizens will be able to prove their identity and share electronic documents from their wallets with a click of a button or a mobile phone. Scanning as well later on when they build it straight into your body. This comes on the back of announcements that the European Central Bank is moving to the next phase of the digital euro this month. The digital euro will, according to former IMF, Christine Lagarde affords some limited control over people's spending. You heard that right. We decide what you can and can't buy. 
you've bought three steaks this month, that's enough. That is your quota. You're not having a barbecue slash bry slash barbie slash whatever you call it in your country. You can't have any more meat. You've overdone the meat. We will not let you purchase. This example can go across many different fields. India, another BRICS nation, has been at the forefront of DPI development for years. And now articles are appearing in publications like Forbes, claiming India has a digital infrastructure and America needs one. At the same time, China is making huge strides to ending online anonymity, while Western politicians like Nikki Haley say we should be doing the same as fast as possible. As the world focuses on Hamas and Israel, the global reorganization phase of the Great Reset is quietly going about its business, building its net that is starting to tighten around everyone while nobody notices. It's happening right now. When there's a big crisis or when something big is going down, you had best by now, by experience, be looking at other areas to see what they're trying to hide from you. Everyone is looking here. Maybe you should look there and see what's actually going on. Interesting times we're living in. And the dark side is very, very busy. So us, who are of the light and of the day, had best be very, very busy. God bless. Keep looking up. Keep preaching the gospel. And keep shining your light. Shalom.